you want to know if toot your own horn is for you well let me give you my week three updates so you can better figure out if it's for you or not stay tuned first things first I need you to make sure that you hit the bell so you stay updated to all my YouTube videos and let me know before I start what are your biggest questions with Dan Locke's Tube Your Own Horn? And also, if this video helped you make up your decision to buy a Tube Your Own Horse, I would love it for you to support my channel by using my affiliate link below. And if you're still on the fence about Tube Your Own Horn, um, feel free to book a call with me or my team. All right, let's get into the video. Hey, what's going on? You're probably watching this because you want to know what it's like halfway through the course of Dan Locke's Tube Your Own Horn. And I'm here to really tell you some of my biggest moments, some of the things that um, have like my experience. And I just want to be completely honest with you guys. So just to give you a little background, if you don't know why I joined Tube Your Own Horn, it was because you know i've been doing youtube since 2014 so at the time of the shooting i've been doing youtube for about five years and at this current moment i have 7.3 thousand followers right and over the years i've had a few successes where it's like you know like i have one or two videos that have reached over 100,000. i have a few in the 40 slash 30,000. i have a few in the 50,000. But my average video count is probably like, I don't know, I probably get 300 views per video. And for a long time, I would see my friends, like, uh, I would see some of my friends just take off with YouTube even when they first started. I was like, fuck, why not me? And for a long time, I was kind of like, oh, trying to uncrack the code. So I would subscribe to all these like different um, YouTube channels. You probably like watch Roberto, Roberto Blake or video video creators and all these other type of channels, right? I even took like Jump Cut Academy, but for some reason I could never crack the code. And now like three weeks into Dan Locke's course, um, I'm realizing like a few different things. Well, first of all, um, since I've been doing this for a while, there's been very few prolific moments that I've had like not prolific moments that's probably incorrect to say but to, the fact is is that I haven't had that many like wow I didn't know that right I didn't like I haven't had too many moments and I think if you're coming in straight from like a YouTube background where you don't have any followers uh, or you don't have a channel it's a great way to just get started but you know what it's not to say that I haven't had an aha moment. One of the biggest aha moments I've had was like, dude, realizing why some of my videos actually took off and why some didn't. And realizing that, hey, a lot of the effort I put into my YouTube channel, it's not optimized, man. It's like, the thing is, it's just like, dude, I'm putting all this work into this YouTube channel, but am I really capitalizing on my work? And the truth was no. Because even though consistency was never really a huge, huge problem for me, for the most part, was I like, was I doing everything according to algorithm? Was it really being optimized, right? Was I doing last minute uploads versus planned uploads where the system could like uh, had time to generate all that metadata? I'm like, holy shit, I just never considered it. And for me, if you're, if you've been doing YouTube just like me, kind of like on the fly, you probably realize that, hey, um, we're not taught all this stuff, right? Yes, YouTube has the creator studios and stuff like that, but let's be real, whoever goes by that. And what we do is a lot of time we just, we just learn on the fly. So I realized that I never had a strict system of my upload content and stuff like that. And I think some of the other like uh, so that's one thing that's been really kind of really opened my eyes second thing that really opened my eyes to and that i've actually implemented is my instagram and how i view social media so in the past i would actually be really 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 kind of scared i guess um to kind of to kind of like commit to any sort of goals i'm not sure if you ever have that like have those moments where you're, you're scared as well and you don't feel very comfortable but for me um i was just i 
Now I use it as an accountability tool. So literally from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, I try to log every single hour, every new thing that I'm doing. I just try to let the world know. And it's really cool. Like I, I always get these messages like, hey, Kevin, what book is that? And I'll be like, oh, this is the book I'm reading. I'm reading The Dip by Seth Godin, right? So it'd be cool stuff like that. And it's really been helping me form deeper bonds with, um, with like my friends, my family, um, everyone that's around me, right? And I'm a real big fan of the document, don't create, you know? So it's been really, really cool. And man, so I've been telling everyone about my goals, like my goal to hit 30,000 per month um, by the end of um, this month. But I, I don't know if I'm actually gonna hit it. I'm kind of worried, but it's not about that. Um, what it's really about is like taking extreme ownership of everything I'm doing. I've been thinking, and here's another thing I've been realizing after Dan Locke's uh, To Your Own Horn. He talks about some of the analytics and he hasn't, he hasn't gone to that part of the course where he dives deep into analytics, but I've been thinking a lot more about my strategy. Is the content that I'm putting up really, really valuable to people? Of course, some of it is valuable because here's the thing, right? People, um, I've only learned SEO maybe within the last half year and that's where all my like YouTube views like blew up, right? I would have these videos that did really well, but I never knew why. And I think sometimes having awareness of what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, what's working, what's not working, and to have like a model, right? Proven model, because Dan Locke, he went from 100, like 50, I don't remember when I saw him. I think I saw him when he was like 100K, and then all of a sudden he blew up to 1 million within the last year. He really breaks it down, and I thought that was so invaluable that he told us his exact strategy of how we got there. Can I tell you the exact strategy? Um, I could, but I think like, here's another thing too. Um, who I think this course is really good for is like, dude, if you are a beginner, I highly recommend this course over any other courses I've taken in the past for YouTube or anything like that. Um, I've taken a lot of courses and a lot of them are just factual, right? But you gotta realize what is Dan Locke the master at? Some people would say high to king of high ticket sales. But in my opinion, he's a better marketer than he is a uh, closer, to be honest with you. And I think like he comes from a strong copywriting background. So you gotta ask yourself, hmm, what is Dan Locke really, really good at? And you know what he's really great at? Positioning. Positioning, creating engaging content to hook you in. And man, it, he really kind of, like kind of melds like the whole closing aspect with the um with the youtube aspect and he always breaks down like the whole process is all about closing and i was like damn you know and i want to let you know one thing like one major thing that i've been struggling with is like i've actually been terrified to sell on my channel i've been terrified to monetize or do any sort of thing the only monetization i ever did was honestly other than adsense uh promote dan Locke's course because i thought it was really good but man it made me realize that i have a lot of connections i have a lot of people that have great courses so why am i not promoting them like what is it is it my fear of selling is it my i'm even scared to just even promote to my email list half the time man and i always forget like comment subscribe i don't do any of that and it really made me realize like dude the number one thing that is keeping me back from like youtube fame or youtube success isn't isn't my video editing it isn't my style of videos but it's like creating it's like creating the different opportunities for myself and really having a set in place system that is replicable, right? Because here's the thing, I'm only one person. I can only do so much. I've gotten a lot quicker, a lot better over the years, struggle a lot. You ask me to edit a video, I can edit a video. You ask me to do a thumbnail, I can do a thumbnail, right? But man, I, I just been realized, like <laughs> realizing that there's so much that goes behind the top uh, YouTube channels that like people my level that we don't really get, man. 
And so if you're on the fence of like doing it, uh, I I can honestly say that this will help you a lot. And even if you're a seasoned vet, it might you might not learn like yes, you might know that watch time is very important or what analytics to track and stuff. But having a course and putting money into it really forces you to get some sort of skin in the game. Meaning like, hey, you paid good money for it, you might as well get the most freaking value, man. And um, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's really important sometimes to risk it all and have an accountability group. I mean, even Dan Locke, he, he kind of called me out in the group. Not called me out, but I was telling them that Hey, you know what? I haven't been really taking this course as seriously as I thought I was. And I took extreme ownership. And Dan Locke was like, you know what, Kevin? Um, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Like, I have a feeling that one of the reasons why um, you haven't been successful on YouTube is because you've been holding yourself back. And it's a moment like those where I really, it made me really think about why are all my other friends successful but not me? So, just thought that was a cool insight. I want to share more insights with you, but um, yeah, man. Uh, last, last quick thing before I sign off is just like, you know, it's really th made me think about the content I want to put on YouTube and how much more, how how fun it can be and all the sn snippets, like all the cool cool things that you can do, man. I love it. And so it's really forced me to go out in the world again and really kind of like I did a video at in and out the other day. If you haven't checked it out, check it out here or here, wherever the icon is. But check it out. I did a random video after one class and I was like, let's try something new. I wonder if you can see what it is. But anyways, um, it's like that. And then I get to watch TV again. I feel like a normal person ironically but i watch it from a different lens if that makes sense all right so guys if you are curious about dan Locke's course to your own horn let me know at this time i do not have an affiliate link i'm hoping one day i will but you know i i just hope to get some free karma you know doing these videos and helping you make up your mind and um honestly like dan Locke's courses have never really disappointed me his core offers never really disappointed me you know, I think they're really valuable. He puts a lot of time into it. He has a whole team to make sure that they're good. And there's a reason why Dan Locke is very popular because he is, he adds so much value to people's lives. I mean, it's not like if you didn't add any value to people's lives, you wouldn't have a diehard fan base. Am I a Dan Locke fanboy? Fuck no. But uh, I know there are a lot of Dan Locke fanboys, but I'm not one of them. Um, but I think it's like, Hey, this is a really good course. You should pick it up. If you if you want if you're serious about YouTube, you should definitely pick it up. If you're only interested, man, um, I still recommend that you pick it up. But make sure that hey, you're in the financial, you have the financial ability to, and that you actually have the time commitment to as well. Even before, and you should know exactly how is this going to help you. Don't take courses for the sake of doing courses. And I think that's. Finally, I think that's something really important to just address. A lot of time people think that this is going to be a Captain save a Ho type of course where you just take this one course and you're set for the rest of your life. But the truth is, there's no course like that. No course will ever be like that. So you got to go in with the expectation that, hey, I'm going into this knowing that I'm going to take at least one thing and apply it. I'm going to apply it. It's not on the course, man. So I don't know. That was a random aside. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that fucking bell. Yes, I remember the CTA, man. Hit that fucking bell. And just so that you stay up to date with all my um, with all my content, right? And if you guys have any questions about Dan Locke's To Your Own Horn course, leave them below. Um, let me help you answer them and help you feel confident if you're thinking about it, man. And make sure to stay tuned with uh, this playlist because I'm going to keep on updating my YouTube journey. So I'll talk to you later. Peace. Hey, I'm about to show you some bloopers, but before I go into it, again, if you want to support my channel, uh, make sure you use my affiliate link below for To Your Own Horn. And if you have more questions or if you're just really on the fence whether what you can really get out of this course, uh, let's talk. You can either, you can book a call with me or my team below in the link.
I will talk to you guys later and on to the bloopers. Damn, all these books and there's no book on YouTube. Why are you fucking poor? Why are you fucking poor? Every day go to school to be the good boy. Wait, what are your biggest struggles of getting your first client? Love to hear back from you. Wait, you don't have any clients? It's probably because you're in and out.